Thank you, Andy. We're joined now by Amy Orwick from the Girl Scouts of Western Ohio, the Apple Ridge section, I believe, which involves Lima. And it is that time of year again. The Girl Scout cookie sales are now underway. And we were kind of talking a little bit. It's close to 100 years now that the Girl Scouts have been selling cookies. Almost 100 years, yeah. The, um, the original sale was back in 1917 with a troop of girls that wanted to earn money to, for their activities and stuff. So they baked cookies and sold them that way. And it's progressed to what it is today. Now, I know most people like myself love the Girl Scout cookies for a chance to eat them, but from the Girl Scouts perspective, it's not about selling treats, it's really about teaching some important life lessons to the Girl Scouts. Absolutely, the program does teach skills like goal setting, um, money management, that's a big big concern with, with girls these days. Um, communication, you know, how to talk to people, how to set goals, um, you know, different things like that. So it, it's more than just a fundraiser, it does teach them skills that they're gonna take throughout their whole life. Now the order be set, taking has already begun. You can place your order for now for the next several weeks, but it's the, the same old reliable lineup of cookies. Now, what's your favorite of the, of the cookies? My favorite is the tag along, but um, in our region and in Ohio, basically, the Thin Mint is the top selling cookie. Um, it actually, during Girl Scout cookie time, it's, it surpasses the Oreo cookie as the top selling cookie in America. So um, it is a regional thing. Down in Cincinnati, the Samoas is their top seller, but in ours, it's, it's the, the, standy, the handy thin mint there. I got to <laughs> assume that you probably have heard some stories over the years about some of the ways the cookies are used and recipes that maybe you don't necessarily think of them being used. Um, actually, yeah, like the, uh, the do si -do, um, there's the chicken recipe. And if you go onto our website, it, you can link to um, our bakery, which is Little Brownie Bakers, and they have a, a whole lot of recipes. But the do si -do, um, has been used with um, like a, a chicken recipe, um, lots of desserts, of course, <laughs> with, the, with the cookies. But um, there's a whole host of recipes. So, I mean, you can, of course, eat them just as they are, or you can incorporate them in your cooking. And then one of the great things about it is it's just $4 for a box, a great cost. It, it is a great cost, and all the proceeds do stay locally. Um, they stay with the troop, and then they stay with the council. Um, they support our camping programs and the different activities that are available to the girls. So when you're buying a box of cookies, know that the proceeds are staying here locally. What, uh, outside of the, the greater goals, is there anything specifically you're trying to accomplish with the, this year's sales? We just want to make sure that Girl Scouts is available to all girls. Um, you know, it's a very affordable program. It's a $15 membership fee um, to get into Girl Scouts, but in this time, $15 is a lot for some people. We don't want that to inhibit any girl from joining Girl Scouts. Um, so our, a lot of our proceeds are directed towards making sure that it's available to every girl who wants to become a member. Does it matter if you buy directly from a Girl Scout or if you just go to the store and then see them outside? Is there any benefit from trying to seek out your neighborhood troop? Um, you always, I think you always want to support the, the girls in your community. Um, our region goes from Paulding County all the way down through Shelby County, Logan County. So it's, it's 10 counties around the Lima area. So it's always nice to support the girls in your community. But it doesn't matter if you order them, you know, if you pre-order them now or if you get them at a cookie booth outside of your local retailer. Um, we always encourage people to try to hook up with a, a troop. And if you're not asked, you can call our Lima office. I will put you in touch with a troop or I'll get your information and, and have a troop contact you because it's always best to work with that girl so she's learning those skills. Um, that, that the sale promotes. Yeah, you can call the number on your screen, 419-225-4085. You can also go online to girlscoutsofwesternohio.org. And I know this is going about to become a very busy time for you. Do you take any special time before the, uh, the, the busyness of March to kind of get everything settled down and ready to go? Uh, yeah, we do. Actually, I just got back from a two-week trip to uh, Florida and the Bahamas, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Amy. Of course, the Girl Scout cookie sales will continue through March 10th to place your order. As you said, you can call the Lima office at 419-225-4085. We're shifting our food focus now to something that possibly is part of your New Year's resolution, eating healthy. And we're going to dive into the book of Genesis to find our foods of choice for today. Genesis 129, Then God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the surface of all the earth, and every tree which has fruit yielding seed. It shall be food for you. Yet today those plants yielding seeds and every tree which has fruit continues to be nourishing food for our bodies. Zach Bowers is back on Faith and Friends with another round of recipes.